Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog related content. Liking and sharing our content helps massively with the growth of our channel, so it's very much appreciated. Today's video is all about purebred dogs. Are you interested in getting a new dog? If so, it's important for you to think about whether you would prefer a purebred or a mixed breed. It's also wise to consider all the factors that will influence your decision. Maybe you have fond memories of growing up with a particular breed. Or perhaps you're looking for a dog that has specific physical and behavioral traits. Like all pets, purebred dogs have their ups and downs. It's vital that you understanding the pros and cons of owning a purebred. This way, you can make an informed decision about whether one is a good fit for you. As well as taking into account your home and your lifestyle. Always buy from a reputable and responsible breeder. Why is it important to purchase a purebred dog from a responsible breeder? Although a purebred dog might have desirable traits, some also have various health or behavioral problems. All dogs descend from the wolf. However, current breeds only exist because people designed them for specific purposes. By doing that, it can produce a lot of hereditary problems. For this reason, it's important to purchase a purebred dog from a responsible and reliable breeder. Why are purebred dogs so popular? In today's society, some people want purebred dogs simply because they're popular in the media. Dogs become trendy, and that's not always a good thing. When trying to find the right pet, you must think about your own personal preferences. Do not follow the crowd. You want to determine what's best for your lifestyle. As always, we will start with some pros. What are the pros of owning a purebred dog? Here are some pros of going the purebred route when looking for a new pet. Predictable physical traits. You can usually count on a purebred pet to have a certain set of physical traits. When you adopt or buy a purebred puppy, you can do so knowing the approximate size that he will grow to be. You will also know the type of hair, fur, and body he will likely have as a full-grown dog. Predictable behavior and temperament. Dogs with pure bloodlines were bred over centuries to have certain temperaments. For example, Poodles and Jack Russell Terriers can have hyperactivity. Basset hounds and pugs tend to behave in a much more docile manner. Knowing about these traits in advance allows you to have a good sense of whether or not a certain breed is right for you. Approved to compete in dog shows. Only purebred dogs are allowed to compete in American Kennel Club sponsored dog shows. If you're interested in participating in these types of events, you should choose a purebred over a mixed breed. Now let's move on to some cons. What are the cons of owning a purebred dog? Here are some cons of going the purebred route when thinking about choosing a new pet. Health problems. Many breeders practice inbreeding to maintain or accentuate certain features. Unfortunately, this has caused certain breeds to become more prone to developing specific diseases and illnesses. For example, German Shepherds tend to develop hip dysplasia. Breeds such as pugs and bulldogs often have respiratory issues. Predictable physical traits mean you're stuck with them. Too many people acquire a purebred dog and then complain about traits that are hardwired into its genes. For example, if you choose a golden retriever, he will shed heavily. He will need weekly grooming and some trimming. His enthusiastic long tail will occasionally send breakables flying off your coffee table. Many purebreds have working behaviors that can be difficult to live with. Hunting breeds such as flat-coated retrievers were bred to work all day. Can you provide the exercise and mental stimulation that so many breeds need in order to feel satisfied? Most breeds were developed to do some type of work. Herding sheep or cattle, hunting pheasants, or retrieving ducks. Hunting rabbits or raccoons, killing barnyard vermin. Protecting livestock, guarding estates, pulling carts or sleds. Let's not forget police and military work. Behavioral traits that help to breed do its work include. High energy level. Independent thinking, doing what they want to do, rather than what you want. 
Strong desire to do things, not just hang around the house and yard. Chasing, grabbing, or nipping at things that move, such as cats and other small animals. Aggression toward other dogs. Digging holes. Suspiciousness or aggression toward strangers. Barking or howling. A quick note on health. Many owners regularly get their dog's health checked. Just because a dog tests negative for a disorder, do not mean that they won't develop that disorder in the future. Hip dysplasia can be a good example of this. This health issue more often than not, doesn't affect dog until later in their lives. X-rays when they are younger won't show up any issue generally. Expense. Buying a purebred dog from a breeder can put a lot more strain on your wallet than adopting a mixed breed dog from a shelter. Some purebreds can range in the thousands of dollars. Adoption costs just a nominal fee. However, if you have your heart set on a purebred, you can try to adopt one from a breed-specific rescue society. Conclusion. To sum up, a purebred dog can be a good choice. If you know exactly which characteristics you want in a dog. If there is a breed that actually has all the characteristics you want. This is unlikely. Compromise is almost always required when choosing a dog breed. If you're willing to accept, and can handle, whatever other traits that breed happens to have. If you're willing to accept the greater potential for health problems. This can be much worse in some breeds than in others. If you're willing to pay hundreds or thousands of dollars for a puppy. If not, then adopt an adult dog through an animal shelter or rescue group. If you acquire your puppy from someone who is doing all the right things to produce good-tempered, healthy family pets. Choosing a purebred is great if you're looking for a dog for a specific function. For example, a guard dog, a hunting dog, a dog to herd sheep, pull a sled, or even dig for truffles. Purebreds tend to have much more exaggerated behavior and personalities than mixed breed dogs. Purebreds also tend to be less adaptable and flexible than mixed breed dogs. It really does come down to personal preference. Growing up a kid, we had a Heinz variety dog. We had no idea exactly what breed he was. But he was the most loyal, lovable, friendly and obedient dog ever. And he lived to a healthy age of 15 with no health issues to speak of. As you can see, you really have to do your homework and not make any rash decisions. Whether you go for a purebred or mixed. Ask yourself, in all honesty. Is a purebred dog the right dog for you? Or more importantly, are you right for this particular dog?